Hi, welcome to the Office 365 and SharePoint integration section of this video course. In this video, we'll be talking about some of the differences between a SharePoint document library and OneDrive so you can have a better understanding of what they are and when you should use them. So a quick comparison of a document library and OneDrive is that a document library lives inside of SharePoint. It's created inside of a SharePoint site and it's managed through the browser. So you would upload documents, you can create list columns and manage your views all right in the browser. Because the document library lives inside of SharePoint, it inherits all the permissions that the SharePoint site provides, which means that the document library is going to be available to all the users that can access that particular site. Or if there's permissions on that document library itself, only those users will be able to access that document library. A document library is also good for collaboration between many different users. If there's documents that you and your colleagues are working on within your team or across teams, a document library is going to be a more appropriate place to collaborate on those documents because of the permissions that are applied. With OneDrive, it's part of the Office 365 ecosystem, which means it has a client application that you can use on your desktop, as well as personal cloud storage that can be accessed from the SharePoint interface. You can also use OneDrive to sync files between your document library on a SharePoint site and your desktop. So you don't have to go into the web browser every time and you can actually use the file explorer on your computer to sync files from your desktop into SharePoint itself through OneDrive. So let's go ahead and see some of this in action. This is a modern team site in SharePoint Online. It has the default web parts and SharePoint assets like the default document library. We can tell that this is the SharePoint site because it has the navigation on the left and the main web parts in the middle. We can see the site title and the logo on the top left. If we go into the document library, we can see that it says documents and it gives us the ability to create a new document or upload one from our desktop. We can also sync it to our local desktop as well as export or create flows. These are the standard features of a document library. To go to our personal OneDrive from SharePoint, we can go to the icon on the top left and then click on OneDrive. This takes us directly to our personal cloud storage OneDrive. So we can tell that it's OneDrive because it says OneDrive on the top left and it also displays our name on the panel on the left. So we don't have the standard SharePoint site navigation and we don't see the site title or any of the other navigation elements on the page. By default, it takes us directly into our personal files OneDrive, where we can also create a new document, upload, sync, or we can even create flows. One of the main differences between a SharePoint document library and your OneDrive is that OneDrive is specific to you. Only you have access to your OneDrive account. A SharePoint document library is shared between people who have access to that site. So we can upload a document, and it'll give us the ability to share the link. And we can enter a name of anyone in our organization that we'd want to share this link to. Another feature is you can move files from your OneDrive to another location in SharePoint. You can do that by either moving or copying. If we decide to move it, we can select a location from the panel that comes out on the right from either existing sites that are shared with us, or we can browse additional sites. So let's go ahead and select a site and then move it to the document library that it's shared with us. So it gives us a notification saying that it's moving one file to the documents. And you can already see that the file has now disappeared from our OneDrive and has already moved to the SharePoint site. So we can navigate back to the SharePoint site and we can see that the document that we had in our OneDrive is now available in our documents library inside of SharePoint. So to wrap things up, we talked about some of the differences between a SharePoint document library and OneDrive and why you might want to use one over the other for your organization.